Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin Takir bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, for 2023 and 2022, how to get started in IT. What's my thought process on this? Uh, I know people are trying to get into IT. Is like, they're trying, you're trying, you're trying, and it's not working for some reason. Um, let's talk about that today. So obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to give you a plan of action. So if you guys do me a favor, you do me a really, really, uh, really big favor, right? Uh, let me close out my Discord. Do me a really big favor. Um, when you when you go online and you're making stuff online, if you're taking a, a course certification for me, if you're, if you're doing something, a video on Active Directory Officer 65 or something that you did based on my videos, please CC me on LinkedIn. Please CC on me on LinkedIn because when you do that, if I like it, the hiring manager sees it. I have hiring managers that are connected or following me. I have over 25,000 followers on LinkedIn. So you have to put yourself out there. So going into everything. All right. The first thing I'm going to say is, um, and this is just IT support, help desk, desktop support, service desk, um, cybersecurity, network admin, sysadmin. This is not coding. So for anyone that's watching this video and they're going to say, oh, what, what about coding? I'm not going to answer that stuff because I don't do that. So. For anyone doing any of these jobs, I'm always going to recommend get certified um, depending on the company if they ask for it. The reason why I say that is because I see people get jobs with a certification. I see people get jobs without a certification. I see people get jobs with a degree. We're only having a degree. If I always tell people, if I were to grab five people right now from the street that work IT and bring them over here and, and interview them one on one, they're going to give me all different answers because everyone has their own path of getting into IT. Everyone has their own way of getting into IT. You may, you may need a cert, you may not need a cert. You may need A+, plus. you may not need A+, plus. you may need Security+, plus. you may not need Security+. Plus. Probably you got a reference somewhere. Maybe someone gave you a reference and that's how you got the job. Maybe you have an amazing LinkedIn profile and they just reached out to you and you, had, you didn't have to do anything and you just applied for the job and you had a job interview. So those things are very important. Just keep in mind. So for you, number one, is going to be you may need a certification, you may not need a certification. That's number one. Get, get the cert you need for the job. If you don't need a cert, and uh, you have a good resume, then you'll be fine after that. Number two, um, build a home lab. Home lab projects work is always going to be important. Whether you do it in GitHub, um, you do it on VMware, VirtualBox, or Cloud, I don't care. Figure out a way to do it. You could do it for free on the cloud. You could do it for free on your PC if you have a fast PC. But if it supports virtualization, you could do it on your PC. That's number two. Number three is fix your LinkedIn profile. I don't care how anyone says LinkedIn is very important. You're always going to go back to LinkedIn. So your LinkedIn profile is extremely important. Make sure you have a solid LinkedIn profile. Make sure you're engaging on LinkedIn. Don't be like that person that messaged me today, the, the asking me about me troubleshooting their issue when I don't even know who they are. I don't know who you are. If you're gonna if you're gonna add me as a friend on LinkedIn, if you're gonna message me on LinkedIn, I expect some sort of communication or some sort of engagement with me, not just asking for a favor. If you're if you're asking someone for a favor. They're going to probably delete you or block you. I'm just going to say right now, no one likes that. You should always give back to the community, not take stuff from the community. Part of being on LinkedIn is trying to give back. How can I help you? What can I give you? Um, maybe some free resources, maybe post some stuff, maybe engage with the community in the comment section. Oh, yeah, you need free resources on this? Go to this website. Like You, you have to engage with people. You cannot just go on LinkedIn and add someone and ask for a favor. It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. And, uh, if I heard your feelings, I'm sorry. That's just how it is. It's the reality of IT. No one, no one cares. No one knows what you know. No one, no one. Um, sorry. Uh, no one knows what you need if you don't speak up. You have to speak up, especially on LinkedIn. So, if you keep your mouth shut and don't say anything, no one knows what you need. So you have to speak up on LinkedIn. So, very important. So LinkedIn is going to be another important part of it. Obviously, your resume is going to be important. Fix that resume. The resume is very important. I have a bunch of videos on resumes. I have a bunch of people with testimonials on YouTube, people getting jobs in IT using my using my um, resume template. So I, I, I'm not making this up. You could go on Discord. You could join my YouTube channel. You could watch other YouTubers that have commented about how they got a job in IT using my, my, my resume template. So I'm not making this up. You could go and just on my YouTube, search for resumes. I'll put the link below here in the description in case in case you're too lazy to go in and look for it. <laughs> I'll put it on the description. Um, yeah, the resume is going to be important. Obviously... Like I said, engage on LinkedIn, speak to hiring managers, job recruiters. Um, now, how long should you be in a job in IT? It really depends on you again. It may be six, it may be six months. I seen someone get a 
someone get a, a 90K job after being in help desk for seven months using my resume template. So that, that really depends on you. Um, I know someone got promoted within the company after being there for a year and they became a sysadmin. So it really depends on you. It really depends on the company. If you're in a good company or a bad company, you want to do research. Those things are very, very important. Research the living hell out of that company. Make sure that company is good. Make sure they take care of you. Make sure you have a good manager. Make sure you have a good team. Nobody wants to work for a toxic environment. Do your due diligence. Do your, do your research. Um, that's the other thing. The other thing is learn the skills you need to learn in order to do the job. That's very, very important. Learn those skills you need to learn to do the job because a lot of people get certifications. They can have over 10,000, like not 10,000, sorry, you can have over 10 certifications. And some of these people have, they memorize the answers, they don't even know the basics of IT. Learn the fundamentals first before you go to the advanced stuff. A lot of people want to go up here, all the way up here, and don't know fundamentals. And, and, and I'm like, no, come back down here please, for me, please, and learn the fundamentals because you got to have a house that has a strong base. You have a house that has well rounded fundamentals. You don't have a strong base, the house will fall apart. So learn fundamentals. Fundamentals is extremely important. I know it's boring. I know it's dry. I know learning about A plus stuff, like what is the operating system? What is software? What are, I know those things are extremely boring, but you need to learn those things because when you go and do these other jobs, it's going to make you well-rounded. Be, okay, this makes more sense. I, I understand how this works on the back end. If you understand how that works, you'll be fine, okay? Last but not least for you guys, like I said, please CC me on LinkedIn because I'm always looking. I'm, I'm super active on LinkedIn. Um, join social platforms. Um, join events. I went, I've already gone to two events. I'm going to my third one this next week and I'm going to another one next week. I'm going to two more events this week at the end, at, at the end of literally November. So join events. I know people that are hiring right now. I went to a recent event. I'll put a screenshot here somewhere for cybersecurity and they were hiring like crazy. And the engagement I got in that event from other people that knew who I was, they're like, oh, Kev is here. I definitely recommend you join events. They are hiring like crazy right now. Someone wanted to hire me, but because I don't have a computer science degree, I couldn't work that security job. So you're aware. So that's why I talk about like I would never talk about I would never talk bad about certifications. I would never talk about bad about a degree because some people say a degree is useless. I don't agree with you. It really depends on the company. This company wanted to hire me. I don't have a computer science degree. I don't have an IT degree. Otherwise, I would have probably you know engaged with them. But no, I didn't have that. But I'm still working with them anyway with other stuff by doing IT support training for their company. So yeah, so definitely during social events is very important. Engage on Discord. Engage in all these things. And I'm going to give you a bunch of people you should follow right now and a bunch of things you should be doing right now outside of your regular norm. This is the this is important because beyond 2022 and 2023, if you do what I tell you to do and if you're super aggressive, like talking about like the mindset of being poor like I am, I have a mindset of being poor and of having that hustle mindset. If you have that hustle mindset and you really grind it out like crazy, like really grind it out and you engage with people on LinkedIn, you do everything you have to do. You do all the things I just mentioned. You could get a job in less than 90 days. If you really put yourself out there, get a job. You get definitely get a job. So let me share my screen with you, and then we'll wrap it up after that, okay? So I would join Women in, women in Linux. So this is for females trying to get into IT. Definitely recommend Women in Linux. Another one is Women Cyber Jitsu um, for cybersecurity, for women trying to get into security. Definitely recommend that one. And then the other one is We Hack Purple. This is for this is for both communities, man and female. But I, these other two, you can still join it, even though even though you're a male. Definitely recommend you join it. And I'll put I'll put the link below in the description of this video. Um, you may have to request access, but they'll give you access. Um, this link right here, Cybersecurity Career and Job Hunting. This was created by Stephen. I'm I'm in here somewhere on this on this website, but I definitely recommend you look at this website if you're trying to get into cybersecurity. Another one is Cyber Mentor Dojo to get a free mentor, absolutely for free. I'm on their Discord right now. I'm not going to open Discord because I'm going to get spammed a lot. But yeah, definitely recommend do that. They have the Discord right here. I'm on this Discord. So definitely recommend you join their Discord. It's absolutely free. Another another platform, um, InfoSec Live is another one. And Simon, I'm friends with Simon. Simon's right here. Um, definitely recommend joining their platform. Now you're asking about free a uh, free a plus stuff. I always recommend Tech G, Professor Messer, and Jason Delon. I'm gonna leave that below in the description of the video. Um, people to follow on LinkedIn. Peter Klein is one. He's a founder of Books to Books. He work, he helps veterans transfer over to the civilian world, trying to get into IT. He's always recommending me stuff, and I'm always recommending stuff to him. We go back and forth. We help each other out. Um, 
He's friends with Simon. You see how the, our, our social networking, it, it's a small world because we all know each other. Simon knows him. Simon knows Peter. Peter knows Simon. And I met both of them, and I know both of them. And somehow we, we got along with each other, and everyone everyone's cool with each other. So definitely recommend Peter Klein if you're trying to get into um, IT. Uh, you want free resources in IT? He has a bunch of them. They have an event going on on December 9th. Another person I recommend is Michael. Michael does free one-on-one -on -one training or coaching and mentoring. If you click here, you could do it for free. Um, definitely recommend. He has free resources right here for, for veterans or for people that are trying to get into IT. He just joined TCM Security. He got a, he, he got a lead project management role. Um, he does free one-on-one -on -one training, and he also goes over your LinkedIn profile. Definitely recommend reaching out to him. Your LinkedIn profile is extremely important, so reach out to him. Another one is Ryan O'Connell. Ryan O'Connell does free cloud training, or he does cloud training for, for people trying to pass the AZ-104, AZ-900. Definitely recommend you reach out to him as well. I, obviously, you add a note to all these people that I'm, I'm recommending and just reach out to them. Tell them that um, Kev made a video on blah, blah, blah. He recommended me because you do blah, blah, blah. If that makes sense. Steven. So Steven is cybersecurity. He covers a lot of stuff in cybersecurity. This is his website. Literally, the website just I just went over. Where is it? Right here. That's his website. Definitely recommend you reach out to him and add him as a friend. This right here is the moderator right here, David Meese. Um, he was like 30-something. Now he's 40-something. And he only had 10,000 followers. Now he has 40,000 followers. Using the power of LinkedIn and engaging with everyone and just talking to people and putting his labs on LinkedIn, creating his project work on LinkedIn, everything on LinkedIn, he got a job working cybersecurity. So he's been in cybersecurity for five months. Just being on LinkedIn, he got a job in cybersecurity. So I, 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 this guy is a motivator, right? This guy is the man right here. Like I love, I love David, man. There's another brother of mine right there. Definitely reach out to him and add him. Um, last one would be Rachel. Rachel is always posting free stuff. She's she's super nice, super cool. Um, definitely reach out to her. Add her as a friend. She's always posting free classes, free courses, free things on link on LinkedIn. Um, she's doing big things right now, so definitely reach out to her as well. Um, and I'm gonna stop sharing. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much it for me. If you want to get started in IT, um, there are several ways to get started in IT. I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go here. And say you must have this degree. You must have a cert. You must have. I don't do that because it really depends on the individual. It really depends on everything. It goes back to references. It goes back to sometimes not what you know, who you know. Sometimes it's your LinkedIn profile. Sometimes it's your resume. Sometimes it's project work. Sometimes you get someone referring you. It really depends on the company. It really depends on a lot of different factors. But if you take the time. To do everything I just mentioned, you can definitely get a job in, in less than 90 days if you're very aggressive with it. With that being said, I hope you have a good day. Take care. Peace. Bye.